Hey yo, what is up? Uh, today we are back testing out the new experimental equipment. Now I know a lot of you have not received your experimental equipment yet, but uh, I think you're going to receive it soon. And uh, these are the three that you should know about. One is called the fire control system, the other called mobility improvement, and the last one is called survival improvement suite. Uh, they are all level 1s which you can upgrade, uh, they are a combination, all the equipments are a combination of two equipments, instead of getting 100% of vertical stabilizer and gun laying drive for example, you are getting half a vertical stabilizer and half uh, the function of a gun laying drive. Now if you are here for the first time, consider subscribing and giving this video a like, this helps out my channel a lot and uh, let me thank you in advance. Now in today's bad chat AP, I'm testing out the fire control system which is a combination of vertical stabilizer and gun laying drive. Now of course uh, this is a level 3 um, fire control system which you need 2400 bottle cap currency to upgrade to. The level 1 they give you for free, you need to upgrade it to level 2 for 400 bottle caps and then another 2000 bottle caps to get it to level 3. Now. Uh, it does look like bottle cap currency to me. Uh, I don't know what it is, uh, what else it's supposed to look like, but that's what it looks like to me, and that's what I'm going to call it. Um, but basically, uh, in my back chat today, you can see me running a vertical stabilizer directive. I'm running a vertical stabilizer. I'm running this fire control system, and I'm running uh, optics. Now, normally, I would either run vents or I would run improved aim. Um, but I decided to try out this um, fire control system, which gives me kind of like an improvement on um, my aim speed, which is 6% uh, improvement to the aim speed and 7% improvement to uh, moving dispersion, which means uh, this is vertical stabilizer times three because I've got vertical stabilizer, I've got the directive that improves the vertical stabilization and now I've got the uh, fire control system that improves it even more. So what happens is stock um, stop dispersion or moving dispersions penalty for the bad chat AP is 0.16. Um, when I'm running this mode with uh, three vertical stabilizers basically, uh, the moving dispersion is 0 0.10 which is absolutely insane. Uh, I can literally shoot on the move and you're gonna see me do that snapshot while my turret is turning and uh, shooting onto the is it a crown wagon on an Emil 2 and hitting it and penetrating it uh, it is pretty insane but the problem is the fire control system does not affect my overall dispersion which is stock dispersion on the back chat AP is 0.35 pretty dismal uh, if you ask me uh, if you run an improved aim the dispersion becomes 0.33 uh, which is a lot better than 0 0.35. 0 0.33 makes it a lot better. Um, now, I'm just doing this as a test on the Batchat AP. Now, the Batchat AP is already a very good tank, uh, very powerful in tier 9. Um, and to be honest with you, I think if I had a choice to run this permanently with um, either the fire control system or the improved aim i would rather have the improved aim if you look at the stats here that i'm showing you uh, with the improved aim i'm going to reduce my overall dispersion from 0 0.35 to 0 0.33 without much difference in the moving dispersion as you can see stock moving dispersion 0 0.16 with the fire control system 0 0.10 even if I don't use the fire control system and I just run the improved aim, I'm getting 0 0.11 uh, moving dispersion penalty, which isn't too much. You see that shot there? On the move, I hit that 703 version 2 um, because I literally have um, vertical stabilization directive, vertical stabilization in the purple equipment and I'm having a level 3 fire control system which gives me another 7% uh, decrease in dispersion 
uh, and uh, man it just makes this tank shooting on the move really accurate and this is already a pretty powerful tank uh, if you know the bad chat ap you will know that this tank is actually in my opinion anyway a lot better than a uh, char future 4 for example a char future 4 has that four second um clip interval where you need to cool down four seconds before you can fire your clip your second shot off or your third shot off in the batch hat ap uh you don't have this kind of uh you don't have this kind of penalty the intra clip on a batch chat ap is only 2.73 seconds so it's a really quick firing not as fast as a amx 1357 for example but a 2.73 second is pretty good for a dispersion um for a intra clip um intra clip uh penalty so anyway i am now searching for the rest of the team the only thing that i didn't know where it was was the scorpion and the strv 103 which is why you see me uh driving up on the um on the terrain with my turret pointing up so that i can spot something that is hiding where i am right now just in case the strv was hiding here now instead of shooting at the strv this is what i should have focused my shot on instead of giving them time to shoot at me so that scorpion and that guard managed to both land shots at me when i could have uh you know if i hadn't already fully aimed on that strv 103 i could have shot that uh scorpion g and that guard instead and then probably duck back into safety instead of taking two shots from them and then taking the third shot from that cs52 but nevertheless i've already done 3527 damage uh, just for a very quick game in a very powerful tank uh, with purple equipment and now with fire control system uh, too bad i wasn't driving uh, you know driving and shooting on the move to show you how uh, powerful the fire control system is but you did see me do a drive-by shooting on that emil easily hitting him and panning him with my uh, apcr shells so uh, and for some reason here my team is taking a long time to close down that cs52 which gives me 32 seconds to reload and finally put a bullet to the back of his head and uh, just like that uh 3.554 damage on the bat chat ap really uh you know no effort at all really took me no effort at all to do that kind of damage and a very powerful tank with uh you know very powerful potential especially if uh, you're using all kinds of equipment 2.0 or experimental equipment uh, this thing just becomes a little bit ridiculous anyway what do you think about experimental equipment i hope you enjoyed this video took some useful information i will see you on the next video bye, -bye.